He's singing a song as we go along, walking in the window in the land. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Eight Crazy Nights. So Eight Crazy Nights has the voice talent of Adam Sandler, and the film is about Davey, who is an alcoholic. He's just not into the holiday spirit. He has a criminal record, so now he has to serve community service, and he is being supervised by this old man named Whitey. So Davey has to hang out with Whitey and try to get back into that holiday spirit. So before I review Eight Crazy Nights, my guest star, Justin Watches Movies, is going to be reviewing this movie. So Justin, take it away. Thank you 22 Tiger Dude for allowing me to be on your channel here to discuss Eight Crazy Nights, which has the voice cast of Adam Sandler, Adam Sandler, and Adam Sandler. I always loved watching Eight Crazy Nights when I was younger. I always I have all these fond memories of watching it. I think I was in fourth grade when it first came out. I watched the movie constantly. I loved the music. I loved the humor. Even though I didn't get most of it at the time, I just thought it was full of energy and a lot of fun. And a lot of potty humor that could get into the way of people actually enjoying this film. This movie is filled to the top with potty humor, but it embraces it. It has fun with it, and I enjoy this movie so much. I thought Adam Sandler did a great job voice casting a lot of these different characters, and he did a great job portraying these different characteristics of these characters. The main star who Adam Sandler voices seems a bit down and depressed at times. Well, Adam Sandler has a deep down depressed voice. You got the two crazy twins and his high-pitched voice accompanies the characteristics of those twins. I love the music to it. All the songs are catchy. I know all the words to the songs. I'm sure when you think of Christmas, you don't think of hard R-rated animated movies. So I applaud Adam Sandler for actually tackling this film and bringing it to life and having a lot of fun with it. So I'm going to go ahead and give Eight Crazy Nights an A-. minus. Point two, Tiger Dude, thank you for allowing me to be on your channel to hear discuss one of my personal favorite films of the holidays, Eight Crazy Nights. Once again, thank you, Point two, Tiger Dude, and I hope to be back on your channel soon. 22 Tiger Dude has it, and Justin Watch Movie has it, and we have Tiger Power. Thank you so much, Justin, for reviewing Eight Crazy Nights. I have to say, this is one of Adam Sandler's worst movies. This is not only one of Adam Sandler's worst movies, but this is one of the worst holiday movies I've seen. Not a single moment hit for me. Yes, I did not laugh once watching Eight Crazy Nights. It's a Hanukkah movie, all right? So for the people that celebrate Hanukkah, you would hope that this movie somehow brings in the spirit. In my opinion, you know, even though I celebrate Christmas, it doesn't even do a good job of making me want to get into that holiday spirit. This movie is mean-spirited. The humor is just atrocious and I really do mean that the comedy in this movie is just utterly atrocious and I can't believe it that an animated movie like this was actually approved was actually made this is a disgrace to the animated genre because you guys know me I love the animated genre it's my favorite genre in movies ever and to see that this movie the shit fucking movie was made it really pisses me off. For example, Davy, he puts Whitey the old man inside the porta potty. And guess what? Whitey is covered in shit. I'm not joking. He's literally covered in shit, which was just disgusting. He actually hoses Whitey. Whitey is a frozen poopsicle. Oh, oh my gosh, I know. I know, poopsicle. That's so hilarious. But then, guess what? The reindeers actually lick the poopsicle off of Whitey. And you know what was just so amazing? When they smiled and you see shit on their teeth. Yes, I'm not joking. There's actually a close-up of a reindeer smiling, having shit on his or her teeth. Adam Sandler not only voices Davy, who actually looks like Adam Sandler, by the way, and I'll get to more of that later, but you know, not only does he voice Davy, but he voices Whitey, the old man, Eleanor, Whitey's sister, and the Deers. 
He voices a total of four characters. And I say, why with Whitey? Eleanor, I'll actually give him credit. He actually did a pretty good job with Eleanor. Like, at least that voice did somehow fit that character. So I'll give him that. With Whitey, talk about some of the worst miscasted voices I've heard in an animated movie. My goodness, he does not sound like an old man at all. With Adam Sandler's voice, it doesn't fit. And then what the fuck is this? What's going... That's not funny. That's just fucking stupid. Oh my goodness. Oh, and not to mention, you get to see his butt and then later on his entire body. Yes, we actually see that in the movie. There's a scene where these three idiotic kids were laughing at Kevin Nealon's joke. Yeah, Kevin Nealon voices the mayor in this movie. How? How? They laugh so hard that boogers, boogers, actually squirt out of their nose and falls on the table. Oh, man. The execution just fails in pretty much every level. This movie, other than like a few exceptions, it's not executed very well. It's executed very awfully, in my opinion. The direction, I mean the direction's there, and that's it. I guess the direction was fine for Eight Crazy Nights, but like I said, it's not something to really pay attention to because you're watching nothing but garbage in this movie. And not to mention, not only is this movie such a disgrace to the animated genre, but to the musical genre, because the musical numbers in this movie are horrible. There's not a single good musical number in this movie. There actually was one for maybe like a good first 20 seconds, and guess what? It was the scene when Adam Sandler and the character Jennifer are driving home because the two of them had a pass with each other when they used to go to school together. It's very heartwarming, it's very nice. They're singing about their past, and it was actually good for the first like 20 seconds. And then it's ruined when Whitey starts to sing. And that's the thing, guys. Even when there's a good moment in Eight Crazy Nights, it only lasts for a minimal amount of seconds. It's like, just when you have me sucked in for a little bit, you somehow find a way to just fuck it up and just make me pissed off again. This movie has some of the worst musical numbers I've heard in a film, period. I couldn't stand the musical numbers, and that's such a shame, because I love the musical genre. I have a huge appreciation for the musical genre, and just hearing it in eight crazy nights, I literally wanted to just shake my head in full anger mode every time I had to sit through the musical numbers. The lyrics to them are just as horrible as the actual singing. Like, who comes up with the lyrics for this shit? So, for positives, there's a few, and I mean very few, heartwarming moments in this movie that don't last that long, unfortunately. There's actually one moment in A Crazy Nights where it shows us a backstory on why Davey is such an asshole, like why he's an alcoholic. That one moment that movie showed us, I was like, wow, like A Crazy Nights. Where was more of that dramatic stuff? Like, it was a very dramatic moment in the movie. Why didn't Eight Crazy Nights have more moments like that one moment? And there's another moment that unfortunately still deals with another awful musical number, but it's in the mall with Adam Sandler looking all sad. There was a little bit of heart during that horrible musical number. And then as for other positives, I will say the animation in this movie was actually pretty decent. Like, I won't lie, the animation actually wasn't that bad. It's not some of the greatest animation I've seen in a 2D animated movie, but to be fair, yes, the animation was actually pretty decent. It was serviceable. What does kind of kill the animation for me though it's the movements like the way the characters would move felt very out of place they don't flow naturally like some of these 2d animated movies do oh and not to mention that there's some very off 
lip sync like some of the lip sync was so out of place it didn't stay in sync with the characters like it's nice to hear Kevin Neal in I thought Adam Sandler did a good job basically voicing himself cuz the drawing of Davy looks exactly like Adam Sandler in animated form which I thought was pretty cool so Adam Sandler voiced Davy well he did voice Eleanor well but the deer and Whitey just, just no, just no. And there's a few other voice talents that did a pretty serviceable job with this movie. But really that's it for positives guys. I really did hate Eight Crazy Nights because the movie is just piled up with nothing but bad humor. It's just a very mean-spirited movie and I just don't see how this movie can cheer someone up. It's one of the worst films from Adam Sandler and one of the worst holiday films I've ever seen. It's not the worst film from Adam Sandler. That goes to That's My Boy, but it is still one truly horrible, dreadful movie to watch. I'm giving Eight Crazy Nights one out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Eight Crazy Nights. And I would also love to thank my guest star, Justin Watches Movies, for coming here to review Eight Crazy Nights. He's a very cool guy, you guys, so if you haven't checked him out, I will leave a link in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!